Gutman's a weirdo. I did detect a certain amount of tension in the apartment. Runs a clean shop as far as we can tell. As far as you can tell? Why, are you investigating him? We investigate everybody. His name's come up a couple of times. Nothing concrete. Although a legitimate operation like Gutman's could be a good cover for a sweatshop, give you a way to distribute the product. And the voodoo might be useful, too. The voodoo? Yeah, he's kind of hyped on it. Hyped and voodoo. Well, he did seem very knowledgeable. He's what those in voodoo circles would refer to as a hangun. Uh, hangun? That's what I said. Ah, right. Not a lot of white guys ever get that far into it. Is that why he employed Jerome? Yeah, I guess. Lafret never talked that much about him. Never talked about him at all. Yeah, it's me. Where's Fraish? Yeah. Hello? Hey, Fraish. That Lafret girl, she didn't go to school today. She hasn't been there all week. Thank you kindly, Francesca. I think perhaps we should have another conversation with Mrs. Lafarette. Uh, fireworks. Dave. Gun! <laughs> Hold it right there, Lafarette. <laughs> Dave! Dave's dead. Good point, Ray. Wow, 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 hey, hey. You all right? Yeah. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. The reason I ask is you're on fire. Oh. No. Another gimmick? Not well, the fire was real enough. What are you saying? It was magic? Lighter fluid. This may not sound particularly logical, Ray, but judging from the intense and immediate bond that he and Diefenbaker have formed, I'm inclined to believe that Jerome is trying to do the right thing. But that includes stealing cars and taking pot shots at cops. He's got a lot to learn about civics, Fraser. As usual, no one saw anything else, including the fire. Hey, you know, you blink, you miss a big wall of fire. Look, he planned the whole deal. Escape route, everything. Where'd you find this? Uh, Fraser found it over there. Air. Leave this alone. You don't know what you're messing with. I know that you're frightened, and that Mrs. Lafarette is frightened. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about Jerome's daughter. Nobody's doing nothing to Marie. Then perhaps I could see her. I can't let Jerome kill someone, or be killed himself. I don't think you could do that either. I've been working on him. I've been working on him hard. Gutman? Huh. He's a boker. Broker, like a stock broker? No, it's a bokor, Ray, a practitioner of black magic. Mm. Gutman uses voodoo to control the folks working in his sweatshops. The dark side of Vodun. Oh, and this is the light side? You see, you fight the dark with the dark. I don't like it, but that's the only way it works. But Gutman's too strong for me. I can't control him. And Jerome won't. Because Gutman has his daughter, and in exchange for her safety, Jerome was ordered to kill two federal agents. He's afraid. <laughs> so we got to put a hurting on him. What do you want, Ola? To bring you this. You doing this to me? Jerome doing it. He's bluffing. It'll cost him too much. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm just delivering the message. What did you have about the show? He got the message. Good. Good? Mr. Gutman now believes that Mr. Lafarette is no longer afraid of him. So? 
Well, I wonder why. That should lead us to Marie. You know, she's a sweet little girl. You know, and I'm gonna work it. You find his govy? We will. Govy, what's a, what's a govy? It's a vessel in which he keeps his pwin or his spirits. It's symbolic of his power. You resent me? Is that it? Is that it? You all resent me? Don't you have any gratitude? Of course. What do you people want? What do you want? What do you want to go back home? You want to go back home? I'll send you back home. Right back to the Tonto Makut with the long knives and the knock on the door in the middle of the night when they come in to take your babies away. Forever. Is that what you want? Get back to work. Chow, 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 chow. 